So what you're looking at is a Dell Canvas desktop. So when I got this, I've, I've had this for about uh, two weeks and it's great. I love the Dell Canvas and I might even do a little review, I guess, on it because there's not really a lot out there. There's like two reviews, I think, on the Dell Canvas. And I was a little nervous about buying it because it's a pretty pricey item. Anyway, pressure sensitivity works great except for on Photoshop. Now, I don't know if this is gonna work for those of you that are having uh, issues with Dell, and the, or not Dell, but having issues with Wacom because the pen that, that Dell gives you, when I go ahead and look at pen pressure sensitivity, you can see it's a Wacom, it's Wacom. So this may work for Wacom. If it does not, I apologize. I don't know if it'll work because I don't have a Wacom tablet. But I noticed that when I was trying to check the forums, there was obviously this is too new of a product i don't even know i might be one of the only five people that own it i don't know but this may help someone so there's a video where there's a person it's, it's like a three minute video and they show you how to fix your pressure sensitivity where you go into this uh, this is the little direction thing if you want to freeze the screen and copy this so it's whatever your operating system is your drive c drive usually uh, users, whatever your name is, or whatever you name the drive, app data, roaming, Adobe, Adobe Photoshop, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But what you're gonna, what you're looking for is PC user config text. The other video tells you to create that file and put it in there, and it should fix everything. Well, I tried doing that, and unbeknownst to me, this file was already in here. So I thought to myself, why not just take it out? Why not just totally disregard this PC user config dot text? It can't break anything. So I did that and just showing you. Here I am in Photoshop. Oh, uh, this is Kyle's chunky charcoal. Now see, I don't have any pressure to this, right? But when I was the problem that I was having is that even when I was hitting this the little the smoothing the new add pen pressure and opacity with pen pressure when i was hitting that it was still giving me it was still giving me this this solid line but now as you can see i got pen pressure there and the other thing about this this little fix that i have accidentally discovered you see the way that in photoshop it gives you that faded line it wasn't even doing that. It was entirely solid the entire the entire time it was solid. So it wasn't even giving me everything that I could. It wasn't even doing anything. It was just this regular. So anyway, if you go to that little address or the shit, the file, uh, and I don't care about cussing anymore because let's face it, YouTube doesn't care about me. So if you go to that file, then what you hope, if you remove that PC user config, then more than likely, hopefully it'll help. And if you are on a Wacom Cintiq, maybe like a QHD or something else, and you're not getting pressure sensitivity, if you, if you have that file, just what I did was I made a shortcut so that I could find, because I couldn't remember all that PC to app data to roaming, because I'm not that smart. So I just made a little short top or short cut to my desk desktop and then I just removed it and to see if it worked and I it worked. I don't it, I, it just worked. And so now Photoshop has pressure sensitivity and it's really great. And so it's it's uh, all, everything is working as it should. Hopefully that helped out someone who has a Dell canvas and maybe even some sort of Cintiq something. All right, I'm going to stop talking. Peace.